you know, I've seen a lot of opinions about this Kendrick Lamar Drake beef going on, but nobody ever really saying this. Drake, you gotta stop talking about people's wives. The first time he did it, he got away with it because it wasn't really his wife. It was more so his friend more than anything with Meek Mill and Nicki Minaj. She said, shout out on my boss, bitches, wife, and niggas. He got away with that because I'll be honest, Nikki probably liked Drake more than Meek at the time, and Meek doesn't have the brain power to even really get mad about it. And a lot of the faults that come from where he went wrong in his Pusha T beef and the Kendrick beef stem from that Meek Mill beef. You're not beefing with two brain cell Meek Mill no more. So, Drake goes on to say, I'm gonna let it ring on you like Virginia Williams, Pusha T's wife, and where does that lead you? Pusha T saying that you have a son and everybody clowning you for being a deadbeat and getting a porn star pregnant. But at that point in time, Drake was the golden boy. So you got people saying, oh, he won the battle but lost the war, yada, yada, yada. Some corny shit to excuse the fact that Pusha T absolutely cooked him. So Drake moves on from that. And, you know, the Kendrick beef has been brewing since like whenever Control dropped, like 2013-ish. And... For whatever reason, he's like, well, I could just do the Meek Mill thing to Kendrick for whatever reason. And I should just tell you where this dude's ego is at. And obviously, you guys know exactly where this goes. He brings up Kendrick's wife, yada, 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 alleges that he beats her. And where does that end up leaving him? The number one record being streamed right now, the number one record in the world, the number one record that's being played on NBA playoff games when they go to commercial is calling Drake... Aubrey Graham a pedophile for nine minutes straight within two tracks he calls you a pedophile sex trafficker whatever you gotta stop talking about people's wives man look I know you may not respect women but the people that do respect women and the women that they love that's that's a liable reason to start losing a mind if you start talking about people's girls and you know, I would say for the next time you get in a beef, keep this in mind. But honestly, with how bad this is going, your label's probably never, ever, ever letting you get in a beef ever again. And another reason why I think Drake lost his beef is because he has an insane unchecked ego, which is crazy because it's already been checked multiple times. Whenever Drake has beef with someone, it's always been him punching down. Common, he's punching down. Meek Mill, he's punching down. Pusha T, he's punching down. Regardless if you think he won or lost those beefs, he's always punching down. So even if he lost a beef in people's eyes, he still had the bigger fan base, so people didn't really care. Pusha T forced him into fatherhood, and there are some people who say that he still won. Granted, I was one of them. I was. Uh, I, I didn't really see the light before. I, I do now. But in current day, there are people who still say that. So obviously, you go through all of this and you start feeling untouched. The only person that you're second to is Taylor Swift. Nobody in rap, Taylor Swift. But you see, the problem is, Drake, you don't got the respect that Kendrick Lamar does. And I think you know that. And I think that's why you dislike him. You think the position that he's in should be you, but honestly, it really shouldn't. So he thinks that he's untouchable. Kendrick disses him on like that. He's like, all right, fuck it. Let's get this little midget out the way. But the problem here for Drake is Kendrick is either second place behind him in terms of hip hop or on eye level with him. He's never had to battle anybody with a fighting chance, with a fan base that's big enough. And it's not just Kendrick's fan base. Like Kendrick said, it's the culture. So ultimately, Drake ended up battle rapping against Kendrick and hip hop as an entirety. So honestly, instead of punching down or even punching evenly, he might be punching up. With Euphoria dropping and seeing the reaction that people had to it, that should have been the warning right there. But nah, I'm Drake. I have to respond. He did. But me personally, I probably would have been like, do I really want to do this? He drops Family Matters, his red button, and it immediately gets splattered over by Meet the Grams. And that's when he starts realizing that he has a real problem. 
but Kendrick is far from done, not yet. I'm pretty sure he's realized that nobody will ever have a chance to go this hard at Drake ever again in terms of hip hop or just in general. So he's like, fuck it, I'm dropping another one. And he drops Not Like Us. Drake has to go on damage control now. And you can hear it in his voice on the hard part six. He don't even believe the stuff he's saying. Nuh uh, nuh uh, I didn't do that. Nuh uh, actually, I meant to do this though. Like sure, man, Kendrick literally said it. We're not slow. If you like this video, subscribe and follow me and have yourselves a damn good one.